these four girls are trying to organize an integrated prom for everyone. But as is frequently the case, money is a formidable barrier in addition to the racial attitudes. Maureen Downey has covered education for the Atlanta Journal Constitution for many years. I thank you for joining us. You know, I heard about this story last night. I, I was stunned. I know it might be naive of me. I didn't even know that this still went on in the United States. Blacks actually going, being made to go to different dances than whites? I, I think the folks would argue that it's not a question of being made to go. Uh, in rural areas in Georgia, when, when schools integrated in 70 and 71, prom stopped in many rural areas, primarily because white parents could not see their children socializing at a prom. But proms didn't go away. They became private parties. So there are still pockets throughout the South where, in fact, proms are private events allegedly no involvement with the school. And that's the legal loophole. They're that's allowed to discriminate because it's a private event. Same way, if you had a party and didn't invite me, I might be insulted, but you're not compelled to invite me. These parents would argue that they're having a party for their children and they control the guest list. But in the fact, you know, these towns are open about it. There are white proms and there are black proms. And it's been that way since, really, 1771. I know it's always been that way, but how in this community is that still accepted? Do people still see that as acceptable? You know, when you hear the parents defend it, uh, and even the students defend it, now it's under the guise of tradition. This is the way we've always done it. Now, that said, uh, towns and, and parents and kids are challenging this. Uh, Turner County, Georgia, stopped its prom. Um, Mississippi, uh, uh, Charlton, Mississippi, stopped it's stopping the prom though is the only solution well, they stopped these um, separate proms and they rallied around one prom at the school that said even the communities that have moved to this one unified prom as they're attempting to do in Wilcox there are still parents still white parent holdouts who have these parties at the lake on the same night they'll have a country club invitation only that still in the minds of many kids many white kids is their official prom and the message to black kids in the community you know, at that it's point It's a terrible is? message to black kids, which is why the, the white parents are so wrong, uh, but, but they have a self-interest here. They think this is better for their kids, but really the communities, the chambers, the principals, the superintendents, the school boards, I, I think, in fact, these Wilcox girls, teens, have got it right. By going out on social media, when, when I looked at their Facebook page, which they started yesterday, it had about 300 likes this morning. It's probably near 5,000 now. I think that we all have to put pressure to bear on these parents to say, this is unacceptable. Doing right for your kids and hurting all these other kids, these kids have been in school together since they were five years old let them have one prom I mean the, the, it's really parents the, the kids say well it's tradition but their parents want them to do now, it the four girls that we just saw in the report how courageous do they have to be to actually stand up and do something like this in the uh, community I, I think they're very courageous because their peers elsewhere have failed with this peers elsewhere in some of the rural areas in the south have held uh, alternative unified proms and nobody's come or a handful of people have come so they invest time and money and it doesn't work and people say see uh, I'm hoping that these girls now because there's a great deal of public support in fact I was reading on their site uh, even well-wishers from Canada uh, many well-wishers from Canada in fact you know encouraging you go girls and we're behind you giving money to them you know I think their prom will be a great success if for no other reason than if TV stations cover it teens love to be on the air so even just for the chance to be part of a moment now I think their prom this year will work and hopefully we'll stop this once well, and that's, for all. that's not yeah. that's hard to say thanks Marina appreciate you coming in thank to you for having this. me